that caught me off guard. Oh wait, I know what you're thinking, but before you comment it, let me help you. Oh no, she's not reviewing something that came out five seconds ago. We better leave her hate in the comments about how late she is. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Hi, hello, I am Tia and I hope you'll stick around. So subscribe for more vape videos. Give this one a thumbs up if you enjoy it and ring the bell notification symbol so you are notified whenever I upload a new video. Also check the description box below for my social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I am most active on Instagram story for my day-to-day -day life stuff and then Twitter I chat with you guys Then there's also a link to my second channel, which is my life channel I upload videos that are not vape related in any way over there my other hobbies and interests So if you want to see what that entails You can click the link and also a link to my patreon account, which is a vape related patreon Monthly reward system. So go check it out. Check out the rewards that I offer. They're really awesome Getting into my patreon at the end of the year could be like a double-edged sword because it's the end of the year So it's like the leftover stuff that I have to give away but then you get in for the beginning of the year when all of the awesome new stuff comes in so check it out join if you want to support me directly if you want to because youtube hates vaping and everybody hates vaping right now and who knows how long this channel is really going to last because i just had a friend lose their channel but today as you can tell by the title or maybe not if i titled it something clickbaity i've got the smoke or smock i don't care how you say it tf v 12 prince baby i it's a mouthful and i'm just like this is like the 70th version of the tf line that they have and this one did come out a while ago but guess what because of all the vape bans going on a lot of the vape companies that i was working with said oh my god we have to put a halt on everything we don't know what's happening so everybody's scared and everything's halting so i'm digging into my barrel of my older stuff that i never had time to get to before moving on to the next new thing and this was the next best thing because y'all like smoke or smog products i mean you don't but like you love to hate watch right Clouds, bitch. <laughs> That's the first time that ever happened. <laughs> I've been in this house for January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, something like 10 months. I guess I shouldn't film right below the butt. Smoke alarm. <laughs> I'm the only one home, so that's okay. All right, guys, that's it for the video. That is obviously a sign that there's so much vapor in this room that this, this vape set off my fire alarm for the first time. And I've only done one video. Sometimes I'll sit and do like four videos in a row of vaping and have not yet <laughs> made the smoke alarm go off, so. Yeah, okay, well, let's, uh, I'm gonna show you, like, the box and the kit and what it comes with and how to set it up. Ready? Go. All right, it comes packaged like this. You guys know the traditional smoke or smock packaging. Do not eat packet. Under the tank, we have a user's guide, quality control stamp, extra O-rings and seals, an extra glass tube, and another do not eat packet. That one literally stuck in the <laughs> camera lens. Two coils, and this coil is 0.15 ohm, good between 40 and 80 watts, but performs its best between 60 and 70 watts. And the second coil is also 0.15 ohm, but you can see that it has four coils, and this is good between 50 and 90 watts, but performs its best between 60 and 80 watts. <laughs> Can't do O's, never could. Been vaping for seven years. Here is the tank itself. It is 53.7 millimeters tall with a 26 millimeter base. It's super tiny, but it does hold 4.5 mils of e-liquid. It's installed with this bubble glass piece right here. It weighs about 55 grams without e-liquid in it because it is a stainless steel and pyrex glass construction so it does have a 510 threaded pin it does have adjustable airflow two slots on either side that are fully closable and on a stopper to fill it there is a button that you need to push and on the cap right there it says open and shows you which direction so you push and swivel it open you fill in that slot avoiding the center you can completely disassemble the tank but to change the coil you just spin off the base and spin out the coil. It is pre-installed with the V8 Baby Q 
4 coil. This is a 0.4 ohm coil. And it's good between 30 and 65 watts. I'm going to go ahead and put the coil back into the base and putting the base and the coil back onto the rest of the tank. I'm going to go ahead and push swivel it open. Oh, and if I didn't mention before, the drip tip is removable 510, but it, honestly it matches so perfect. I do have it in the gold color and it's available in all these colors. I'm filling it up today with my flavor Cloud Kiss. This is a strawberry cake batter flavor available at US Vape Co. You can use my code TIA20 for 20% off. It's available in 100 ml bottles, 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol, available in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams nicotine. This is zero. I don't use nicotine anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this wick up and then come back and vape it for you guys. I did just pop it on to my Kanger Tech mod. So you can get this tank at directvapor.com and they do have it in hot pink. So at its widest, it is a 26 millimeter glass bubble glass right here, but the base is 23 millimeters. I hate when this happens. Wow, it's still reading check atomizer. I'm gonna cause such a mess. Well, let's hope that worked because <laughs> if it didn't, I don't know what happened because the only reason it would not be reading is if I like over tightened it, but. Yeah, it still doesn't want to read it. <sighs> Guess I'll change the coil out, be right back. Okay, I had to change mods and I don't really know why I don't know what was going on, but my Kanger Tech mod did not want to read this tank, but it reads like my RDA just fine. So, cause I thought it was the mod. Well, first I thought it was the coil. Then it wouldn't read the other coil. And I was like, okay, maybe it's the mod, but then the mod was reading a different atomizer. So I just went and got a different mod to put the tank on. <laughs> so yep, that is the Smoke or Smock TF12 Prince Baby. Let me know which TF tank is your favorite because there's like 57 of them. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my life channel to see other videos all week long of not vape related stuff. Don't forget to fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.